Welcome, 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 welcome to Big Red Leaves. I'm Big Red, getting you and your business back to the black. Today, I wanted to simply catch up with everybody. I took a small, small hiatus. I was answering uh, emails, taking calls, um, particularly on my actual birthday. I did take the day off, turned off um, all electronic devices in my house, and simply just enjoyed the day. I actually enjoyed myself spending time with myself you know and um i did have a birthday dinner and what came out of that dinner was something that i truly think needs to take place more often in your group of friends and for you this is something that will benefit you if you look at it as such what is it that's holding you back you should already know this answer it's you it's no one outside of you so if that's the case if you are injecting negative energy negative thoughts anything that's not positive and you're putting it in your cup and then you're drinking it you are poisoning your own well how many times in your life have you let someone dictate to you and a lot of times it's somebody you love dictate to you and tell you what you're doing wrong and they never bring up what you've done that is quote unquote correct or right they're not highlighting your attributes they're not highlighting the the good things that you do the positive things that you do if you're not doing it for yourself is that a winning formula for success across the board money relationships family community job career any of that any, like is if, you, if you're not reinforcing and you're not being your own cheerleader how is somebody going to follow you or support you if you're not rooting for yourself i'm back and I'm not saying it like I was gone. I'm simply saying I'm back. I'm back to who I am. It didn't take my birthday to, to realize this. As I get older, I'm, I am like a fine one. I get better with age. And a lot of my friends, shout out to my boy Chad. Happy birthday, bro. Um, Sagittarius season is real. It's always something that clicks that pushes us forward what is it what's the positive that's pushing you forward yes in those rare cases something negative can happen and it actually boom introduces real change and transformation in your life that's very rare after the age of 30 how many new friends do you actually have are you willing to change your circle to change your circumstance are you willing to change your location to change your circumstance? As you start to get older, your circle gets smaller. There's nothing wrong with a small circle, but if this circle is not backing you, supporting you, cheering for you, are they truly in are they truly your circle? Do they truly have your back? And vice versa. I root for my friends. I root for my brothers. I root for the people who are in my circle to actually win. And if they ask me a question, I try to give them an idea. If they use it, great. If they don't, my ego isn't bruised. It's for the benefit of the group. But we're talking about you right now. I want you to look at yourself as the biggest cheerleader for you it's that time let's step into this this new year with some real momentum every day write down the positive things that you do the positive things that you do in your community the positive things you do at your job the positive things that you do in your business the positive things you do in your relationship the positive things you do for your family look at the positivity that's all around you and stop focusing on the negative don't focus on what you don't have focus on what you have push that and run with it
I was a great basketball player in high school. But guess what? I am I'm six foot three. I'm not gonna be guarding Shaq anytime soon. Especially when I was playing ball. I can't focus on that. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? I wish I was a little bit taller so I could be a baller. No, that's not what we're doing here. This is not Ski Lowe's greatest hits. What I'm simply saying is you have to be your biggest cheerleader. Root and cheer for the things that you do well. Or how about the things that you are uncomfortable to do, but you there's something clicking inside of you, something burning inside of you. There's a desire there to actually do more, want to do more, become more. Don't wait and let time go by without at least attempting to try the things that you actually truly desire. One of the toughest things to to, to really deal with is regretting the fact that you didn't take action. There's so many things in my life. I don't regret them, but I understand why people say they regret something. There are things that I should have did that I didn't, that I didn't do. You know, but the should have, would have, could have coming from someone else. It's not as painful coming from someone else. But if I'm saying that to myself, that is a recipe for disaster. Write down your goals. Write down your attributes. What is it about you? Are you loyal? Are you true to yourself? Are you honest with your friends? Are you honest with yourself? Can you look in your mirror and say that you're soft? In the moments when you need to be hard. In the moments when you need to to be pushing yourself. Are you a disciplined person? I'm not going to lie to you. In my early 20s. Yes, I was disciplined in a lot of aspects that some people will look at and be truly positive. But then there were things where I I would party almost every day. Not realizing that I'm just blowing money. It wasn't until a few years ago that I really had to break down. It's like, where is my money going? Like, what did I spend this money on? And I'm talking about going back and looking at things and like, okay, I accumulated this much money. Okay, gave this money, gave this amount away, gave this amount away, did some good works with this, did some things with some charities, bought myself a little something, and then I have nothing left. That's when I realized that I had to find secure ways to store money or put money aside and put it in an account that I can't touch. Even though it's not it's not gaining the interest it was, let's say, 25, 30 years ago. At my birthday dinner, there was more positive, positive energy going towards other people. And we were all highlighting the things and and where we met each other. Some of these relationships I've known for, you know, I've had over 20 years. Some of them didn't start out on good terms. But knowing thyself and knowing who I am, and as I've gotten better, the relationships have gotten better. They've matured. If anything else, you know by now, by by simply either following Big Red Leads on one of these social media platforms, or just in speaking to me, if you know me personally, I've always been a positive person. And I do mean that I've always been a positive person. I try not to look at the negative, but there are moments in my life where I was so focused on things, it's going to work, it's going to like fairy tale and not living in reality when I was able to really sit down with the reality be honest with myself be honest where I am and where I want to be and started writing my goals down and writing down the things that make me a winner I got a better understanding of how other people work because I know myself 
No one can hurt you but you. You either give people permission to disrespect you, you give permission to people to talk out of line or, or talk or talk reckless to you. You give people this permission. If you don't, if you don't st stomp a mud hole in that, in that, and simply say, "Hey, I'm not going to do that to myself. Why am I going to let someone else do this to me?" You are disrespecting yourself by not being the best version of yourself. The only limitations we have are the limitations that we put on ourselves by calling them limitations. Anything you want to do, anything you can do, can be done if you are willing to put in the work, discipline yourself enough to understand it's better to be progressing at something to be stagnant. Throughout your life, throughout my life, you're going to have moments where you plateau. And when you plateau, in that moment, there's something that you either need to add to that so that you can go up another level, or there's something that you need to discard and get rid of. Because it's either weighing you down, or it's pulling you back. Sometimes that's people. Sometimes that's friends. Sometimes that's family. Sometimes it's the jobs you work at. Whatever it is. You need to either let go of it or you need to add something to your toolkit so that you can keep climbing and ascending to the to the best version of you. I hope this message helps today. I hope this message helps today. Love you all. This is Big Red Leads. Talk soon. Also, look at who you are. Write down the positive things that you do for yourself, your family, your community, your job, your business, whatever it is. Write these things down. Get a better understanding. Take a moment, look in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm a great listener. You know what? I'm, I'm actually a good provider. You know what? I'm, look and take a moment to write down whatever those are for you. I'm a great salesperson. I'm a fantastic sales teacher whatever it is for you whatever it is love you all peace <laughs>